Hello everybody and welcome to another One Stop Wrestling Podcast. I'm Alex and today we're going to be looking back at the history of the Elimination Chamber. The Elimination Chamber has been one of WWE's most original concepts over the past 20 plus years, since its inception in 2002. With the Elimination Chamber event coming up in Australia soon, today we're going to take a look back at the history of the Elimination Chamber including how it came to fruition, as well as some of the best moments and matches inside the chamber. So, without further ado, here is a look inside the Elimination Chamber. As I mentioned, the chamber became a concept in 2002, with credit going to Triple H and Eric Bischoff for its creation. The first match was at Survivor Series 2002 and it was a highly memorable match as well as giving the fans something fresh and original which worked straight away. One of the reasons it worked so well was the image of the chamber. It looked like an awe-inspiring devil's playground capable of inflicting great punishment on the human body similar to the Hell in a Cell structure. Although both were surrounded by steel, the Elimination Chamber was a lot different, with glass pods to keep the competitors in and steel surrounding the ring, which could also inflict great punishment. The first match was iconic and is still heralded by some as the best chamber match. A new concept made the match so original and the star power was off the charts. The match comprised of Kane, Rob Van Dam, Booker T, Chris Jericho, Triple H and eventual winner Shawn Michaels who won his first world championship in over four years, which was an amazing feel-good moment. After that, the WWE kept the chamber to a once-a-year appearance, with the only chamber of 2003 happening at SummerSlam, with a not-so-favourable ending as the first. It was absent in 2004, but then returned for 2005 and 2006 at the New Year's Revolution Raw exclusive pay-per-view with a couple of great matches, and in 2006, another memorable moment as Edge produced the first ever Money in the Bank cash-in against a bloody and battered John Cena to win his first world championship in WWE. However, that wasn't the only chamber match in 2006, as at the end of the year, we got arguably the worst chamber match in history at one of the worst pay-per-views WWE have ever done, the much maligned Extreme Elimination Chamber at ECW's December to Dismember. The chamber was awfully booked as the crowd favourites CM Punk and Rob Van Dam were taking out early and the match was won by the man who had nothing to do with what encompassed ECW, Bobby Lashley, in an attempt to push the upcoming superstar. The chamber then moved to the famous No Way Out event in February 2008 and 2009 before being branded as its own pay-per-view in 2010. Since 2008, with the brand extension in full effect, the show would have two Elimination Chamber matches, one for each brand, in which one match would have that brand's championship on the line, while the other Chamber match would be a number one contender match for the other brand's championship, a concept which is still used today, as champion Roman Reigns has usually been absent from the Elimination Chamber event, over the past few years. From 2008 to 2014, it would be a pivotal night on the road to WrestleMania, as matches for the Mania card were shaped and championships changed hands. Triple H and Edge became new champions at the fantastic 2009 event, which saw Edge lose his WWE Championship in the first match, only to go on to win the World Heavyweight Championship in the main event. Chris Jericho dethroned The Undertaker in 2010, and incidentally, this is also when the dead man suffered first and second degree burns during his entrance, as there was an issue with his pyro. The Chamber pay-per-view event in 2015 then changed up a bit, as for the first time the World Championship was not a focal point, as both Chamber matches were for the Intercontinental Championship, and then the first ever Tag Team Elimination Chamber match for the Tag Team Championships. However, it was not for the better, as the Intercontinental Championship match received widespread criticism. A famous match, but for the wrong reasons. The star power just wasn't there like in previous chambers, and in an unfortunate turn of events, 
Mark Henry's pod broke before he was supposed to enter the match and all chaos ensued as the planned match was completely thrown out. Dolph Ziggler practically had to call the match on the fly on his own and although he did a great job, the match is remembered as one of the worst chamber matches in history. It would have a year off in 2016 and come back in 2017 for the star-studded match which saw Bray Wyatt win his first ever WWE Championship in a highly popular contest, which incidentally was the final time John Cena walked into a match as the WWE Champion. History was then made in 2018 as WWE held the first ever Women's Elimination Chamber match and the first ever seven-man chamber match, where three superstars started the match instead of the customary two. The match was much maligned, as WWE continued to push a babyface Roman Reigns after Braun Strowman dominated everybody and would have been the right winner, until Reigns toppled the monster among men with one spear and would go on to have one of the worst WrestleMania main events against Brock Lesnar. History was made again in 2019 as the Women's Tag Team Championships were on the line for the first time after the belt was announced in late 2018 and the inaugural champions would be crowned inside the chamber. The boss and hug connection of Sasha Banks and Bayley would become the first champions only a year after Sasha turned on her friend in a shocking moment. Over the past few years and since the pandemic in 2020, there have been two matches at every event with a variety of stakes on the line, including another tag team title chamber match in 2020 and the first ever United States Championship Elimination Chamber match in 2023, which was won by Austin Theory, who retained his title. Now, on to some of the greatest moments in the Elimination Chamber. The Chamber has seen some great moments as well as awe-inspiring spots in its time. And it's time to take a look back at some of those now, starting with the very first Chamber. The first Chamber had the first of many dives off the Chamber, which was executed by Rob Van Dam as he hit a prone Triple H with a five-star frog splash and actually legitimately crushed the game's larynx on the landing. We've seen some crazy dives and falls since then, including Undertaker's chokeslam to MVP in 2008, John Morrison's insane leap from the middle of the chamber as he Spider-Man crawled his way to the middle of the top of the structure and crashed down on Sheamus to eliminate him in 2011. And then we had Brock Lesnar's ridiculous F5 to Austin Theory in 2022, where the Beast grabbed Theory on top of the pod and launched him off in a death-defying spot. The pods and plexiglass have also been heavily involved in producing great moments as Shawn Michaels took the first bump through the plexiglass which held the superstars in their pods. A spot which would become synonymous with the great chamber spots in history. Great pod breaks included when Goldberg viciously speared Chris Jericho through one in 2003, when Sheamus broke kicked a pod so he could get to Randy Orton in 2014, and then two brutal crash and burns as Nia Jax ran herself through a pod in 2018 and Otis did the same in 2020 but ended up breaking right through the entire structure. A great moment, as mentioned before, was Edge's Money in the Bank cash-in, which happened in January 2006 as he set the tone for Money in the Bank cash-ins to come, fully capitalising on the champion going through a bloody violent war with barely anything left to give, which pretty much guaranteed Edge victory and he duly won his first WWE Championship. This move was also repeated in 2010 as after John Cena had gone through a war to become the new WWE Champion, Vince McMahon announced Batista would be getting an impromptu title match. Although the animal didn't have the money in the bank briefcase, McMahon granted him a shot and he subsequently became the WWE Champion meaning that three men held the title that night as Sheamus walked into the chamber as the champion. One of the greatest crownings of a new champion inside the chamber was in 2017, where Bray Wyatt became champion for the first time, which was a feel-good moment all around, even though Wyatt was a heel at the time, as many felt he deserved his win after years of great work. 
In 2010, we saw the shock moment of interference for the first time in the Elimination Chamber as Shawn Michaels broke out from underneath one of the steel grates to deliver a sweet chin music to The Undertaker, which cost the dead man his World Heavyweight Championship and allowed Chris Jericho to become the new champion, setting up the famous career versus street match between Shawn and Taker at WrestleMania 26. Interference has happened a few times over the years, including the Wyatt family taking out John Cena in 2014, and as recent as last year, as Logan Paul laid out Seth Rollins with all three aforementioned involvements leading to big WrestleMania matches. Now, finally, on to some Elimination Chamber statistics. And as of this video, there have been 32 Elimination Chamber matches, and Triple H holds the most victories inside the structure with four, and Daniel Bryan and John Cena just behind him on three. Chris Jericho and Randy Orton are tied with the most appearances at eight apiece. Jericho also holds the record for most cumulative eliminations with ten, and Braun Strowman and Shayna Baszler are tied for the most eliminations in a single match with five. As mentioned before, Strowman somehow didn't win this specific chamber, as there were seven entrants. Out of the 32 matches, 23 have been contested for a championship, where the defended championships changed hands 11 times, meaning a champion success rate at defending is only just above 50-50. 11 times a championship opportunity was on the line, and of those matches, the challenger has walked away with the title from the subsequent match only twice. The Undertaker in 2008 and Bianca Belair in 2022. Well, there you have it. That was a brief history of the Elimination Chamber, as well as some of the craziest spots and shocking statistics from the famous WWE structure. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to One Stop Wrestling on YouTube and check out our other videos. Until then, we'll see you next time for another One Stop Wrestling podcast.